All right, hey guys, we are here tonight. Uh, we haven't done a channel of the week in a couple of weeks. It's been kind of busy and been getting back at the barn, but the weather's kind of crappy tonight. So, be a good night to do a channel of the week and maybe a little bit on the difference between a professional grade chainsaw and a box store chainsaw. And this is Wyatt. I call him the boy. But he's okay for a midget. I call him the chicken. He calls me the chicken. How do you like that? Isn't that respectful? Yes, it is really so, respectful. Why have you been watching Starry Hilda with Mommy and I at all? Yeah. Yeah? Um, How do you like her? Pretty cool. Good. Pretty cool? For homesteading. For homesteading? Yeah? I really knew much about it until I heard about a bunch of these people. Okay. Yeah, there's always there's always him. So, well, anyhow, that's our channel of the week. I've been trying to keep it to smaller channels. Um, I actually have a new subscriber who actually it was kind of neat. Um, I've watched some of his videos already and really liked them, but uh, I'd like to watch a few more because he will probably be spotlighted in the next one. Um, so, but but Starry Hilder. There is a lot of entertainment wrapped up in the one mountain living hippie. And uh, she's not really a hippie, but she entertains me. And I like Mr. Hilder. They're pretty fun to watch. Uh, cooked up a mountain lion. <laughs> cooked up a mountain lion. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah. Looked kind of tasty, didn't it? I've never heard anything like that before. No, me neither. But, you know, you nothing wrong with it. You can try new stuff. But, uh, of course, we never really have mountain lion up here. No, we don't really have mountain lion up here. But so we heard one down in Cava got shot. Yeah, no, well, there's always stories, but so anyhow, that's uh, she's our channel. Okay, <laughs> a little conspiracy theory here. Uh, anyhow, that is our channel of the week. Um, Starry's been on for uh, quite a few years now. I think she has something. Uh, I know it's over 70,000 subscribers. I haven't really watched it. It's kind of a bigger channel to be doing for this. And uh, and no, I'm not doing it. Not doing this for attention. I just, I really like the channel. And if some of you haven't seen her, you might like her. Um, she covers a lot of the, uh, like the off-grid and homestead kitchen skills, things like that. Her and her husband do. They just cover a lot of really good stuff living off the grid and uh, the back to Eden gardening, which is kind of neat and maybe some of you are interested in. She has some decent tutorials on that. So, I really like the anyhow, pantry. How you, she keeps her food like that. No, can she like the, you like the pantry? I don't know how she keeps her food stored. Some toads and stuff. Now, are they, uh, how does she keep all that food fresh? She keeps it in a jar for a while and keeps it a lot fresher for a while. For a lot longer time. Sure does, buddy. No, uh, he likes the pantry and the canning stuff, which is good. That's good stuff to learn. So I never knew much information about that until I watched her. There you have it. She taught the boy. So from a person that I hardly even know yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So seen picture. <laughs> anyhow, that is our channel of the week. Um, I'll put a link to her channel at the end of this video. Um, you guys feel like checking her out, you know? Fun to watch. She's very entertaining. She's very religious, but there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not a super religious guy, but I don't have I don't have any issues with people who are. This is not a political commentary channel. So oh, no. I try to avoid that like the plague and don't give away my leanings. Of course uh, most people could probably guess, but so anyhow, I do not want to turn this into a political type channel, so that being said, check her out if you want. So we're going to move on. So I, I've been trying as we do these Channel of the Week videos, I've been trying to uh, put some other things in there to give, give you folks some other tips and things like that, you know, you might like or that might serve you well. We covered a little bit on electrical meters in one of them. We'll do more because uh, the sound in that one was absolutely terrible. So I'll do a little more on that at some point as we get into it. But tonight what I wanted to cover, a lot, I burn wood. I've, I've burnt wood most of my life. Um, I think uh house I grew up in, we put a wood stove in when I was nine years old. I'm 35 now. So I've been burning wood a long time. I actually, that stove we put in, I actually have it in my house now, which is kind of cool. So... Anyhow, 
I cut a lot of firewood. I have my firewood to cut. Um, I cut cut for some other people too. I used to do a lot of chainsaw milling, a lot of stuff like that. Once in a while I'll go go drop trees quite a bit for people when they need it. So I rely on a chainsaw a lot for a lot of stuff. Um, the chainsaw is like anything else. It's a tool. You get what you pay for. And you can either buy junk or you can buy professional grade. Now, when we talk professional grade, a saw like this, that's close to a thousand dollar chainsaw. I say close. I, I'm not sure what the, I've never bought one of these new, so I'm not sure the sticker price on this particular saw, but I'm pretty sure it's up near a grand. Now, there's a lot of ways, and, and that's a lot of money, especially if you're only cutting firewood for your own consumption, and you're not doing it professionally, but that being said, you really got to think about that. You could buy one of these saws and probably have it last you 15, 20 years if you take care of it. Probably longer if you really take care of it. You could go to this cheap pile of dog excrements. Excrements. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, he likes that. Otherwise known as cheap garbage. Cheap garbage, yes, that's right. But is it really cheap garbage? Is it? Hardly, but you get to the good brands. No. It all depends on what you want, what you're looking for. This is probably about a $200 chainsaw in a box store. I personally, <laughs> I don't like them, not one bit, but I'm used to saws like this. So what are the key differences? You know, you want to buy a chainsaw, you want to buy a good one. What are the big differences? What makes this a piece of junk compared to this? I mean, they're all pieces of crap when they're broken, right? So. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. All garbage when they don't work, don't they, buddy? Yeah, just like the golf cart sitting here in your backyard we haven't gotten to fix yet. we got so much projects. And that's right, yes. Just like that freaking golf cart. That's for another day. Dog got a hold of that and made a mess of it. So. <laughs> had the seat. One more pile of junk in the yard. So, anyhow. So, this is a new model home light, which you can't really call that a home light. I mean, that's not a home light. This, this is dustier than hell, but that's a home light. So, these would be the new era Chinese home lights. Now, so what about this saw? A couple of big key distinctions between this hunk of crap and this good hunk of crap, right? Crap. You just like you just wanted to say that, didn't you? No, no. it's just funny. <laughs> We're having fun here tonight, so kind of a, this is kind of our fun video. So there's a couple key things. All right, when you pick this up now, I did not buy this. I have people drop crap like this off here all the time. But yeah, like, 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 first things first, <laughs> this is plastic. This is all plastic right here. Oh jeez. All right. The cylinder right here, that is not a bolt down cylinder. This saw is not very fun to rebuild. This saw sucks to rebuild. You've what done, do you think? You've done it before, haven't you? I've done it on some of them like this. Then he's had experience. They stink. The other thing about this, and this can be changed very easily, but all box store garbage saws come with safety chain. I hate safety chain, but that's very easily remedied. Another thing. Now you got a good spring anti-vibration mount there, but guess what? It's just a spring into hooked into that plastic handle. How long do you think that's going to last? So, you know, that's junk. To me, that's junk. But it's all right. They're fine if you just have a couple branches around the yard. You got to clean up year to year, and they're fine to have around. If you're cutting up a couple cord a year, that's all right. Use it up, you know. But I highly recommend if you do that, always drain the gas out when you're done using it. Run it dry. Don't ever leave fuel sitting in these for very long. And when I say very long, I'm talking a matter of a couple of weeks. Um, the other thing about these, you have a foam air filter that just kind of sits there in that little box right there. Doesn't seal in there very well, so this is prone to suck sawdust. No fun. 
doesn't really uh, do much, does it? No, it does not. And does that look like it's very fun to work on if you have to get to the carburetor or anything? I mean, yeah, you could do it. a few screws, you could pop it all apart and all that, but there's nothing very accessible about this thing. It's not not all that fun to work on. So we'll throw this piece of garbage off to the side. I should call I should quit calling it a piece of garbage because somebody will probably send me hate mail. But it's junk. It's garbage. I wouldn't feed this thing to the damn dog. What do you think, bud? No, not one bit. Nah, dog probably wouldn't need it anyway. It's a chainsaw. Would you keep your head in reality? <laughs> I said no. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe we're having a little trouble finding our theme here uh, tonight. But like I said, we're just kind of goofing off a little bit. Thought it'd be fun to make a video together and... He's not sure how to uh, stay in the camera. So, well, cat. Okay. So anyhow, this is a professional grade chainsaw, and I'm hoping you guys can see some differences right off the top. I mean, a lot of you people, a lot of you folks watching these videos probably already know plenty about. Pro grade versus homeowner grade, but there's a lot of people that don't. Now, I've only bought a few saws brand new at full price. Actually, I've only bought two brand new at full price. A Dolmar 9010 and a Dolmar 6400. I love my Dolmar saws. I also love my Husqvarna saws, and I like my pro grade steel saws. I like chainsaws. He does. I do. So, what I'm looking for when I buy a chainsaw and nowadays I go to older or I'll just build one. This one I built out of aftermarket parts just to see just to see if I'd like it or not. And it's been a great runner. Been a good saw. So first thing, bolt down jug. Alright, so this cylinder bolts down. There's four bolts on each corner. If I have to rebuild this saw, I can take if I have to do a top end on it, it's simple. Disconnect the intake boot. Take that spring off, pull the plug wire, four bolts, <clears throat> pop that thing off. You can replace the cylinder very easy on these. And you could do it yourself. You don't have to take this to a shop to do it. Do a little looking around. There is thousands of videos on YouTube on rebuilding a chainsaw. Ooh, yeah. Other thing about this, I showed you guys the air filter. All right. This is a good flocked air filter. Not like the foam ones. Not like the foam ones. Sits on top of there. Put that thing on it and it's just hooked in there. Clip it hooks in down below. That's nice. Easy to clean. I just blow them off. I got a little bit of dust in there from the last time I used it, but I like that. That's a good professional design. If I have to get to the carburetor on this. Now right now I just have the, the top uh, the top plastic off. All right, but all that is three screws on that, and this thing slides right off. That's it. It still stays on there, sturdy. So we have a couple. Uh, the throttle cable disconnects really easily. Mm -hmm. All the lines come off easy. Undo that intake boot right there. You can pop this carburetor right off. You have it in your hand. Serviceable. That's the big difference for me between professional grade and cheap junk grade is serviceability. I still like that name. The other thing, you know, when I'm looking for a chainsaw, right down here, this is dirty, i got to clean it just like everything else, but that right there, this crankcase, and that's all the way up here. Take 322. <laughs> right? Anything else that you would like to say to the camera before we can begin? You smell like farts. <laughs> <laughs> does that does that amuse you? Yes, it does. <laughs> so, as soon as the camera gets off, somebody here is getting beat. <laughs> he says that a lot, but it never happens. He says that a lot, but never happens. That's nice. So, free to a good home. <laughs> hey, you fooled us. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Apparently he doesn't like that. 
So why tell them why this saw makes why is this a professional grade saw? It has metal. It's not gonna. Oh come on! You got to do better than that. You got to explain it to them, buddy. Cylinders. Talk. Make it so they can hear you at home. Cylinders easy to take off. Cylinders easy to take off. Where's the cylinder, buddy? Right there. That's the right easiest there. question. How many bolts do we have to remove to take that cylinder off? Three. Two, three, two, three. I don't know. Well, look. I don't see any bolts. What about right here? One, uh, four. Yeah. four. Say louder. Four. I gave him the answer. There you have it. Mm. So, four bolts and then what? This one hard to get off. What is that? The... Yeah, you're tipping the bucket. That's why you took a trip. Tip the bucket, you goober. <laughs> OSHA would be in here and have my butt. Have the three-wheeler. So we're trying to do something educational. Trying to give the boy his dream of being a YouTube sensation. Of sorts. Gameplay. You know. We have a cat outside who thinks it wants to come in here. While we're doing the video. While we're doing the video. So it can knock down the camera. So it can knock down the camera. So, if we can get. Are you just going to repeat after me? <laughs> no, it's repeating after me. Okay. Someday I'll tell you guys about his brother, uh, Brian, who ended up in China. I don't have a big brother. Well, not anymore. So, anyhow, back to the chainsaw. What other parts makes this a good professional grade chainsaw? I don't have a big brother. <laughs> that does not have anything to do with making this a good chainsaw. Yeah, I know. That's why I said it. I think this video has gone totally off track, folks. So. Yeah, when you started. I, I may have to do the chainsaw thing on a different different type video because Captain Crunch here <laughs> Captain Crunch Captain Crunch has decided to uh, to goof off but take five thousand six hundred and eighty two me and the boy <laughs> tradesman channel of the week starry hilder <laughs> This has not gone well tonight. Maybe it's not the best introduction to the boy. Maybe it's a poor reflection on my parenting skills. Is there anything that you would like to tell the folks at home once we are finished with this travesty of a video? Yeah, I don't know. Anything you'd like to say for wasting their time tonight? <laughs> say this. Okay, speak up so people can hear you. What do you got to say? I'm going to say, sorry for wasting your time. Please do like and subscribe <laughs> to this channel. I didn't put him up like, to that. <laughs> bit, no, he really did. I just thought of it. That's bad that he's getting trained to the YouTube plug already and we haven't even been at this very long. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. This is going to be a rough night. Very rough. I'm going to have to sleep with one eye open and a bat in my bed. <laughs> joking. <laughs> but I'm joking, but it never really happens. It's just my figure of speech. Great. Now everybody's going to think Daddy's abusive. Very cool. <laughs> sure so anyhow, not. if anybody knows the number to social services, they can send <laughs> the boy here so he can call them sometime or anything like that. <laughs> you guys have a good night. We had fun with this tonight. Sorry it wasn't a little more informational, but the channel of the week videos are kind of a whatever video, and tonight was kind of a whatever video. So, anyhow, see you guys the next time. What are you doing? Yeah. I'll see you guys the next time. Please like, subscribe if you feel like it. There better not be a hand flying behind my head right now holding up bunny ears. <laughs>
Have a good night, folks. Next time I'll leave the cave dweller in the cave. <laughs> That's it! <laughs>